19 years old. He's 5-0 and with three KOs, the taller of the two for four days in a row. Perez was fighting the younger brother of Leo Santa Cruz, Antonio. Use his arms, use the length that he has. Well, you know what? Better on. Yeah, the punch of choice for Rubio is the uppercuts from either hand. That red hair, he lost a bet <laughs> in November. For a year, he has to keep. You guys are putting hands on each other. I think the better punching technique, though, belongs to Rubio. They do. And they have similar experience. Rubio has five pro bouts. Perez has. The emails I get from you guys, and Steve, I got a guy who listens to the three, knock, three knockdown rule. Point taken away for Fighter Perez, who's digging himself in there. Yeah, so in Bakersfield, appreciate, thanks for the support. Also, everybody in the Golden Boy office. Yo, in five fights, has three stoppages, Perez in four, only has one, and I get the sense, Doug. Rube ropes, he didn't slip off those ropes. He just willed himself off those ropes. And Put. Also, of course, thanks to the CHP in the West Valley, Luis Arriaga, and everybody else watching. Theo, appreciate it. To land a right uppercut, to throw some uppercuts yeah. of his own. More. His punches are coming together very nicely, Ooh. coming off very nicely with a lot of speed and precision. I'll tell you what, Perez's hair isn't the only thing that's no. red. That no, nose no. is bleeding so much. Watching Perez closely, because uh, the young man has taken a lot of punishment. Yeah, that bando City Salido and the bandido Francisco Vargas at the StubHub Center. They'll be still for 30 with Jonathan Franco out of the Garcia Stables. There are, again, there are certain guys that are much comfortable, uh, much more seasoned on the... And that is... Partially due to fatigue, partially due to, to oh, gets nailed. Perez trained by his father, George Sr., watching his son in Much yeah. shorter. Uh, well, for Rubio, I, again, he's only 19. I'd love to see where he is in three years. Is Hit with some hooks yeah. and, and, and right crosses from Perez. He's blocking those and, and, and leaning away. Oh, come like that, too? <laughs> yes, at one point he was. He had the rows, right? He had the corn rows? Right. <laughs> School theater, Roberto Diaz and Javier Razo, matchmakers, especially with Roberto bringing him up. And, Yeah, could be. I mean, I'm not one for theories. <laughs> you guys have been around a lot. Last fight, Jet the Blasco. Brings a good crowd with him. And we're starting to see the evolution of him. More experience than he, and they made it tough on him, just with the savvy, just with the rough stuff. Using him against a younger opponent. To that aggressiveness and that willingness. You know, with Rubio's style, I think condition. Last. Pablo Rubio Jr., his dad, Pablo Sr., father figure for him at that gym in Whittier. Final seconds blood. of the fourth round here on LA Fight Club. Nick Arce also out of the West Side Boxing Universe. I have uh, four rounds to zero for Pablo Rubio Jr. <laughs> Uppercut landed by Rubio. Another one when you spar guys, you said you know them, but another one when you take the headgear off and the gloves get smaller. Sparring Rubio is very good. Particularly on the inside, but he is going to be in a lot of hard fights, Steve. Yeah. There, there are defenses for uppercuts. You can block. You can put, oh. you could take your right hand. Your shoulders to right. the opposite side, and you got to tuck that chin in. Right. If you're a, if you're a, a right hand. This technique that me and Doug are talking about, should watch tape of James Tony from about 1991. Whereas in the white trunks comes the fight. He stands right there in the middle. He'll train with you. He'll absorb some. And next thing you know, you're on HBO at the StubHub Center. Sixth and final. Uses him. And when Pablo is not fighting here at the Belasco, he's here at Hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty cool story. That they have that the ring, they go over. Style is good technique, good torque, good leverage on his punches. Keep this in mind, though. He's only 19 years old. That, some of those fights that he lost. Rodney, Rodney Jones, Jones yeah. 20 years ago in Culver City. <laughs> <laughs> That's not far. <laughs> Pablo Rubio, you saw a Metal World Peace in his corner. <laughs> he was here. He's here in attendance. Fair. Most of the blood from George Perez. Well, this is this is his pride right here. This is who he is, and he is a hundred percent fighter. As he loses, 19-year-old Pablo yeah. Rubio Jr. Yeah, yeah. It's the victory.